So someone asked me to make an updated version of how to add fire objects in Adobe Photoshop CC. So here we go. First off, for about five years now, Adobe Photoshop has had like a render flames feature within the software. It doesn't look as good as if you were to gather like photo textures of real fire and explosions, but for many different projects, this feature would actually do just fine. So here's how we do both. I decided I wanted to use a microphone and add fire to that, but you can use the same fundamentals on pretty much whatever objects you choose. The next thing you wanna do is grab your pen tool. With the pen tool, you'll need to pinpoint a path for the flame render to follow. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is filter, then go to render and then go to flame. Then this option window will pop up. We have a different, we have a few different options to manipulate in order to create the desired effect we want. But I'm really only gonna be using two of these options. I'm gonna be adjusting the width and for most of the time, we'll either be picking the first flame type or the last flame type. In the advanced tab, you can adjust the turbulence and jag, which kind of gives it a windy sort of look. And you can also adjust the opacity and the complexity of the flames and where the bottom of the flame is aligned. There's three flame styles you can pick from, but I'm gonna stick with the first option on both the flame style and the shape. Also, I wanna let you know that you can change the colors of the flames as well, but for just for this tutorial, I'm gonna just stick to the natural fire color. Once you're happy with the results, you can just hit okay. So now we got this flame here. It, it looks pretty realistic. I decided I wanted to add a few more flames, but I didn't want to get too detailed and take up too much time. So I just made new paths and redid the same render with the same settings. The trick I like to use for the smoke is to simply just desaturate the colors and then play with the levels until I get the effect I'm looking for. And then the next thing I usually do is try to create a sort of burn look for the area where the fire is resting. And then to do this, I just hit control click on the layer's thumbnail and that creates a selection around the layer. Next, I make a new layer and then I brush within the boundaries with the soft brush or with the gradient tool in black. You can also use the burn tool to brush right onto the microphone, which will give you an even more realistic look, but it's a permanent effect to the layer. Finally, for a glowing type of effect, I grab a soft brush and then a brush on a new layer with the shade of orange or yellow and then set that layer to screen. You can also just find a texture on Google with some really cool flame effects that people made by most likely just taking photos of real fires. You can copy that texture and then paste it right into your document. The texture's background has gotta be black or it's not gonna work properly. And then you're gonna wanna align the, the layers fire directly above your object. So you'll also wanna find a photo that complements the object you're trying to burn. In this example, I chose a flame that has sort of a ball shape to it to match the shape of the microphone head. The next thing you wanna do is set the layer to screen. And then finally, just as like on a previous microphone, we add some burns to the mic, source, and voila. Let me know in the comments which effect you think look better. And I appreciate you watching like always. Peace.